Hey everybody, man, I'm checking my oil right now doing my pre-trip before I pull off. Man, I haven't put the video together yet, but man, I had a rough morning, God knows. So, try to keep some rags for checking your oil. I mean, you can use tissue, baby wipes, or whatever, but these shop rags help out a whole lot. And I finally found where those hooks were. So, this is for anybody that, like if you get stuck and you need some hooks, for them to pull you out i don't know where they will hook it to but this is where they are on this 2018-19 freight line of cascadia y'all see the hooks i never knew that so in a way i took something away from this bad experience and i'm glad because i had no clue that this was even under the hood or that's what it was there for so now i know that on my driver's side and on a bumper, there are two hooks that you can use for for a tow hitch. But my thing is, where would you even where would you even put it at? So now that oh, it looks like it goes right here. Okay, you learn something every day. Word. So it ain't nothing over here. So it's on the driver's side. So we both, all of us. That's for the people that probably already knew. But for us that didn't know, including myself. Learn something today. So these also take Delco 1030 semi blend. Like I have synthetic, but I can mix um, synth synthetic blend with it until I get more synthetic. Cause you know, obviously I have this stocked in my, my storage that you want to have a funnel in your shop rig. Cause if you idling, the way this winter has been super cold, obviously idling puts more wear and tear on engine components and fluid is gonna get burnt off a lot more quicker. So yeah, check your fluids. Check your power stern. Obviously when the engine is cold though, you don't do it when you just stop. Let your truck sit for a couple hours before you check these fluids. Because especially the cooling, if you open this cooling, you are gonna kill yourself and get, not to kill yourself, but you are gonna get burnt severely. You definitely have to let the engine cool down before you open that cap. And then you won't get a correct reading on your oil if you check your, engine and you didn't let the oil settle back down to the bottom block into the oil pan so yeah have some oil on y'all guys have some coolant power stern fluid have some sockets um have uh washer fluid you know since it's winter time have your your anti-gel for your fuel you know have some snippers for your seals should have some grease for your fifth wheel have your tire thumper I mean, this is optional. Have your fifth wheel puller, you know, your jump rope, zip ties, sometimes pry bar, definitely straps or load locks. And um, yeah, have this stuff because you don't never know when you're going to need it. So let me get back to checking my oil. I just thought I'd share that with y'all before I pull off because obviously all information is good information when you don't know. That could have saved me $500 last night, but I guess me or the guy that was trying to help me for free, I guess he didn't know it was there, neither did I. So, learn a lesson, an expensive one, but I guess that was a good class for $500, right? So, all right, y'all, time is the essence. I'm making better time of it doing my pre-trip. About the bobtail to this freaking place because they took my empty, came in with an empty, and I got robbed. Even though I kicked my own self in the tail, because that was my fault, partially. So, alright, y'all. Deuces.